All right, hey guys, I'm back with the Android theme part two. And basically in this part, I'm just going to show you how to get this theme. Now, if you haven't already watched part one, please go do that. It's very um, good, and it shows you what this theme all has. So let's get straight into this. And there's a few things that you need to download in Cydia. And just go to Cydia, and you're just going go to need to need to go to the search tab and just type in I blank. And then once you have that done, you're just going to want to, I'm just going to, Open it and show you what to do that next. All right, so at this point, you're going to need to have no five icon dock or five icon springboard on. And so what you're going to want to do then after you have that finished is you're going to want to click the eight. So it's going to take probably like five seconds to create them. And after that is ready, just go back to the home screen. As you can see, I already have this done, but you're going to want to go uh, move all of your apps off the first page, except for one. Leave one. And you're just going to want to hold on that app until the apps wiggle. Um, as you can see now, my eight icons, my eight blank icons are at the top of the first page. And you're going to have to move all of the apps, all of the blank apps to that pa to the first page. So it might take a little while, but just... Just do it, and after you have that done, um, another thing that you need to have on your iPod is go to Cydia and type in categories. Now, basically why you're going to need categories is the little app at the bottom of the page. It's a category, so basically that's going to be uh, a little folder that, or that you put all your apps in. So if you click it again, it'll just go out. But So you're just going to want to click or get categories. And then you're going to want to go to the categories, wherever that is located. And you're just going to want to click on it. All right, once it opens, you'll see that you can create folders here. And basically, how you're, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Manage Folders. And you're going to see that I have a folder called Apps. Now, this is really important. All you're going to do is go to Edit, and then you're going to add a, you're going to add a folder. And basically, that folder's name has to be capitalized A, lowercase p, p, and then an s. And then that should, and then, so just put it in, like, the middle, one of the middle spots of the dock, and then you should be good. Now, at this point, you're going to want to go uh, and exit out of your iPod after you have that app, after you have that folder created, and you're going to want to go to your computer. All right, hey guys, so when you're on your computer, you're going to need a few things. Now, the first thing you're going to need is iFunbox. Basically, how to do this is just go to iFunbox.com, link in the description, and you're just going to want to do the download and download that and put it on your desktop. If you don't like iFunbox, you can do WinSCP, but I don't think that's going to be good for this because it's a little too complicated, and iPhone box is just you plug it in. You don't have to do any of that open SSH stuff. So, after you have iPhone Box or WinSCP, whichever you prefer, just um, go to the link in the description, and this is where you're going to actually download the theme. Alright, so here's the link in the description, and basically what you're going to want to do is just go, um, and you can look at this. This is who created it and stuff, so all the rights go to him and whatever. So, yeah, this is what, um, this is his theme, not mine. So this is basically the, these little pictures show you the steps of how to do this. If you want to have that to see instead of me. But I'm just going to show you what to do. So the only reason that you guys can do this, or the only way that you guys can do this is signing up. And the only reason that I couldn't find a direct download is because uh, all the rights go to this athlete, Athletes Wimmer, or however you pronounce that. So it can't be like... Uh, copyrighted or anything but you just need to sign up and this isn't just a one-time use you guys can actually download more themes from this site if you would like and so this is going to be a good site if you like themes and like to customize your iPod a lot so once you've logged in I'm not logged in right now but once you're logged in you're just going to want to go and click the download and it shouldn't take that long but it's going to come out with two files so you're going to want to go back to your home screen and those two files should be Aploid and some Mac, some Mac X something. You're gonna want to delete the Mac, the Mac whatever, because it's useless, and you're just gonna want to 
um, right click on the Aploid and you're gonna want to copy it so after you've copied it just open iFunbox and at this point we're gonna we're going to copy the files so if you look up in the top corner I've already clicked it but you're gonna want to click your um, iPod make sure that your iPod is plugged in and I'll show you how to get there so once you have that plugged in you're gonna want to click on raw file system and you're going to want to go to var down at the bottom and you're going to want to go to stash right here in a sec let me move you guys you're gonna want to go to stash right here and then you should see all these Applications, ringtones, themes, wallpapers, include extra, whatever. You just want to click on themes. And now at this point, you can see all of your themes and uh, all of the good themes that you've downloaded. Now, um, at, now let me get to it and show you guys. So here. So basically how to uh, add this Aploid theme is you're going to want to go to the bottom. And you're going to want to right click and you're gonna wanna paste. Now I've already done this so I'm not gonna do it but this is how, that's how you copy over themes that you can't download in Cydia. So this isn't just a one-time use, I'm just showing you guys how to do this if you don't want to uh, or if the app that you, the theme that you want cannot be downloaded in Cydia. So I'll be right back on my iPod. Alright guys I'm back on my iPod and just to uh, basically tell you guys how to put this theme on, all you're basically going to need to do is just go to Winterboard and check that uh, check the Aploid theme that you put on it. And also you're going to want to check no uh, docked uh, icon labels and no undocked icon labels just to make sure that uh, the theme looks like an Android theme itself. Now uh, also, um, I would really appreciate it if you guys left like some comments on how you think this was I know it was a really bad uh, quality to video because I rendered the video wrong and uh, it just didn't turn out how I was supposed to be it's supposed to be a uh, 1080p quality so uh, I'll have to work on that for you guys I know that's gonna be a thing that I need to work on also um, please can you guys subscribe I will also do be doing requests um, this video was a quest a request from jerks with swag so uh i'm gonna thank him for doing this video and this is a shout out to him if you are listening uh so please subscribe and if you subscribe now for this video i will give you a shout out so uh just subscribe and uh, tell me you want a shout out and i'll give you it all right so thank you guys and as usual this is a warm gaming production and uh just have a great day guys